Hello, this is Maria from Math Mammoth. In this video, we're going to learn how to check addition problems. You know, you can actually check your addition work yourself. You don't have to ask mom or dad or teacher or check at the back of the book. You can actually check it yourself and be sure that your answer is correct. Isn't that neat? All right, so we have here a math problem. And thank you, Matthew. Matthew gave us the math problem. And he even stuck his favorite number, 99, in there. Now, let's get started. Here we have 6 plus 8, that's 14, plus 3 is 17. And then I know 9 and 9 is 18. So we have 18 and 17, that's 35. And we regroup the 3 in the tens. And then we have 3, here's 10. So 13, 15. Plus 5 is 20, plus 9 is 29. Again, we regroup. And now we have 4 plus 1 is 5, plus 3 is 8, 9. 995. Okay, and now it's time to check it. And the way we check it is I will add those numbers in a different order. Okay, so let's do the same problem again. And this time I will start from the bottom up. So I will go... 9 plus 9 is 18, plus 3 is 21, plus 8 is 29, plus 6 is 35. So far it's the same. Again, I start from the bottom. 9 plus 5 is 14, plus 2 is 16, then I have the 10. So 26 plus 3, 29. And then 1 plus 3 here is 4, 5, 7, 9. We got the same result, both ways. So it checks and all is good. All right, now we're going to look at a different way to check addition problems, to check your math work. And that has to do with estimation and rounding. We're first going to round each number in this addition problem to the nearest 10. And then add those, and in that way get an estimate of the final result. Then I'm going to add all the numbers and get my exact result. And then we will compare the estimate and the final addition result that I got and check if they're close. If they're not, there could very well be an error. All right, let's get started. First, we will round 335 to the nearest 10. So then that is 340. And then 162, what's that, Matthew? Yep, 160. 117 rounds to 120, and 88 goes to 90 rounded, and then this last one, 260. I'm going to just add all of these real quick. We get 0 here, and then we get 10 from these two numbers, 11 here, so that's 21, plus 6, 27. And here we get 5, 6, 7, and 9. So 970 is our estimate, okay? And now let's do the actual addition. Oh, Matthew, are you up to it? You want to do it? Let's let Matthew do it and see if he makes an error. So what do you get? All right, what do you think? Did he get it correct? We have 996, 970. They look a little off, okay? They look a little different. They, they look far apart from each other. So let's check Matthew's work. We have here 5 plus 2 is 7 plus 7, 14, 22, 26. Yes. And then we have 5 plus 6, 11, 12, 20, 26. Uh-oh. So this should be just 6. Right? And then 26, 5, 6, 7, 9. All right. Now look. 966 and 970. Those are very close. So our estimate helped to discover an error that was made. But now it should be correct. Now you could still check by adding in different order. Okay. I hope this was helpful. 